Hello, I'm Ismahan Elwafi, the Executive Managing Director of the CGR. I'm really excited to come back to the family of CGR as the Executive Managing Director. I was part of the CGR since the mid-90s. I started the first time with a, a course uh, on genetics in ICARDA in 95. I, I did my PhD with ICARDA and CIMIT, and I worked in the system. And also I was on the IFPRI board of director for six years, from 2014 to 2020. So I have seen the CGR from different perspectives, from a young student to a PhD, to a junior scientist and the board member. And now I'm coming back as an executive managing director. So it's really exciting to see how the CGR not only continues to make a really huge impact in terms of cutting on malnutrition and cutting on poverty through agricultural development systems. But also it's very nice to see how the centers have grown differently, but have grown all of them substantially in terms of providing solutions to the agri-food system and also making a huge impact in life and livelihood of small-scale producers across the world. In my tour of the centers, I'm reminded every time that the centers are really the pillars of the CGR. All of them were created because they were needed. They were needed in the region where they are. They were needed for the commodity or for the system that they were created for. Since the UN Food System Summit in 2021, all the countries are developing their own strategies to transform their agri-food system. And if there is an institution that really needs to help those countries in having the right strategy for transformation of agri-food system is, and to implement it is the CGR. Because when we talk about transformation, we have first to say towards what? And I think we all agree that the transformation of agri-food system, it's toward more sustainability, more resilience, more efficiency, and more inclusiveness. But to do it, you need evidence, you need science, you need data, you need uh, innovation. So you do the transformation rightly. And within that, policy research, it's extremely important. We underplay the power of policy. The policy the policies can make things happen or can make things not happen completely. And having an institution like IFPRI, which is very highly ranked when we talk about policy research and economics research, it's amazing. It's a research capacity that is independent, that is very relevant, and that is very much needed and can have a huge impact. This is my 11th center that I'm visiting. I'm very excited about the tour, excited about the learning, and I'm excited to see that all the centers have really developed themselves to tackle the challenges of today. It's very nice to be in Washington, to be with colleagues from IFPRI to discuss how could we go forward with a larger portfolio, with much more focus policy research, to make sure that the transformation of agri-food system in every country, but particularly in the countries of the global south, is really appropriate towards having better life for the people, and better livelihood for the small-scale producers, but also better adaptation to climate change and better inclusiveness when we talk about small uh, groups that are not well represented. Thank you very much.